Okay, we're here at gotomath.com, working some calculus. Notice I added a button there. Um, I thought that said cal1. Anyway, quickly here on this button real fast. If you just click on a problem, you'd work the problem out. You want to see the problem set again, you just click that button, okay? So, let's go back. Actually, I don't know why I did that. Let's go to uh, 1.2. 1.2, whoa, look at this. Okay, so it says find the area bounded by the curve in the x-axis and the interval between negative 3 and 11. So here's our bounds, negative 3, 11. And here's our f of x. And of course, I got a nice pretty picture indicating what this is. So negative 3, you'd count over 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And this should count up to 11 here. So we want to find the area... Um, of the shaded of the green shaded regions here and that would be the area of this part and then we'll add it to the area of this guy right here now since we're just starting off on this stuff um, I'll end up mentioning several things here that you need to take note of when we're finding area and we have area shaded down here below the x-axis okay when we find this area, when we actually do the integration here, and we'll be integrating from negative 3 to 0, we'll be breaking this up into two pieces. And when we go from negative 3 to 0, what's going to happen is we're going to end up getting a negative number. A negative number. A negative number means you can't have negative area, okay? Not in the space we live in anyway. Can't have negative area. So you would just take that answer multiplied by negative 1. However, there is something else we could do besides by multiplying it by negative 1. We could actually flip these guys right here, flip them. But anyway, um, okay, let's just go to the whiteboard here and let, let's, let me write that down. So we're going from negative 3 to 11 of 4x dx. Okay, so let's just bring up the whiteboard. And I'm just going to do a crude sketch over here of this guy. It would be a crude sketch. So we're finding some area here. And it's between the x-axis and the curve, okay, the function. And then, uh, what is it? Negative 3 to 11, yeah, I don't know, something like that. Okay. All right. So I'll go ahead and write out the problem. Negative 3 to 11. And then we have 4x dx. Now you're probably wondering, why can't we just go ahead and do it, instead of breaking it up into two pieces, we'll go ahead and just uh, finding this area here, or go ahead and integrating this. Um, in other words, Let's look at this. Uh, hold on. Okay, so this just ends up becoming 4x squared over 2, um, which actually, let's go ahead and reduce that down. This is uh, 2x squared. All right, and we're going from negative 3 to 11. Now, when we get this answer, of course, I'm not going to do this every time. I'm just doing this because it's the second problem here, but if you plug this in, let's just go ahead and do this. 11 squared, um, putting the upper bound, then minus the lower bound, negative 3 squared, and then let's just get this answer here. All right, so, uh, okay, so I'm getting, um, let's see, 3 squared is 9, plus 2 is 18, 2 times 11 squared. Uh, okay, so I'm getting 224. This is what I'm getting. So what we're gonna, what this is gonna end up doing, it's gonna take find this area, and of course, then it kind of adds it to this area. But remember, this area is negative. This is gonna be a negative area. Okay, this is gonna be a negative area right here, and it's below the x-axis. It's below the x-axis. You're gonna get a negative area. All right. And so, <clears throat> what do you think is going to happen? Well, if this is a positive area and we have a negative area, 
so our real answer should be bigger than 224 because you're taking this area and then you go and minus that area and that's what you're getting. So let's try it this way. All right, to find the actual area, we're going to break this up into two pieces. We're going to go from negative 3 to 0. All right. So 4x dx. Well, we know what the integral of 4x dx is. We'll go ahead and write this piece here. So this is 2x squared from negative 3 to 0. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, plug this in. So we end up doing the upper bound. So 2 times 0 squared minus the lower bound. All right, we could do this one on our head, I think. So negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is uh, 18. And so we end up with minus 18. Now, of course, you notice this is negative, right? can have negative area. So what we do here is we just make this positive. Now something else you could do, you could go ahead and flip, you could flip the uh, these guys here. Okay, I shouldn't say that, uh, see what's going to happen here if you flip this, right, what's going to happen then? Well, you're going to end up uh, with a negative number also, obviously. Right, you're going to end up with uh, well. What I meant to say is, you'll end up with a positive. But to make both these equal, you'd have to throw a negative out in front. So if you wanted just to end up with a positive 18, you would just flip those and don't put a negative out front. Okay. All right. But anyway, it's negative. So we'll take the absolute value of that and we get 18. All right. So this area over here is going to be 18, whatever it is, units squared. All right. Now let's do, uh, let's do a divider here. And now let's go from 0 to 11 of 4x dx. And of course, that's going to end up with 2x squared going from 0 to 11. So let's go ahead. We'll plug in our upper bound. So we have 2 times 11 squared minus our lower bound. 2 times 0 squared. And now what do we get here? 11 squared or 2 times 11 squared is 242, right? 242. Okay, so this area here is 242 units squared. But then all we got to do is add both these areas together now. So 242 plus 18 is going to be 260. So there we go. So we had to break this up into two separate parts because this one here, for example, is negative, right? This is a negative area. So anytime it's below the x-axis, we'll have to break up our integral. All right, we'll have to break up our integral. So 260. Now we can't. Now you notice that when we did this one here, we said it would be less, right? It would be less than, okay? Because we ended up getting a negative number here which would be a negative 18, you'd be taking 242, subtracting off, right, negative 18, and that's not good, right? That's not the true area, okay? So we've got area of 260. So let's come up here and hope that that's what the answer is, and there it is, okay? All right, so hopefully you caught part of that anyway. All right, well, plenty. we got plenty to practice from, okay? So... I shall see you back over here at go to math.com practice that and I'll talk to you